Well, what's that? A 3D printer that I totally didn't order and shipped like a month ago and just got around to filming and unboxing. I'm a sellout and I don't make good videos. I put unboxing this bitch for like a month and it's probably I'm probably gonna do it uh, again for another day or a week. I don't know. Who knows? I still haven't finished that Politina staff video. I'm good at this. Don't cut towards yourself. That's a bad idea. Don't, don't cut towards yourself. Don't, don't cut. Don't cut towards yourself. <sighs> I work in like 20 minutes. Back from work 24 hours later. I'm in a different shirt. Oh boy. Ooh. Ender 3D printer. I need better lighting. This lighting sucks. I got a sticker. Qualified certificate. Sticker. Unqualified certificate. Alright. Instructions for assembly. Warranty. They got warranty. I already avoided that at the beginning of this video. Ooh, instructions. I need more space. It's got binder clips and flies. That, that's, ooh, that's, like, that's electronics. That has electronics in it. Man, fucking mosquitoes, flies and shit in my garage. Oh, Fuck. Oh, shit. A scrapper. I shouldn't do that. Yo, look at that. Look at all that filament. I could print absolutely nothing with that. Wheels. It's got wheels and shit. There's so much shit. Get that! So much stuff. Oh, this is nice, though. Power supply. Plastic handle. Cord that goes into like TVs and shit. Metal. Oh, another one of these things. Motors? Motor. It's probably a motor. See, I'm not an engineer. I just make shitty props on YouTube. Super big bar pack of bars. Is there anything left in here? Nope. Don't need that. Oh man, that's just two wider bars. Okay, this is going to take a while. Yo, I'm wearing another shirt again. It's a different shirt. Okay, so that's a funny fuck fuck. That's some funny screws in there. I have to get to. I thought, oh man, it's gonna be impossible to get with this Allen key. Oh, but they're geniuses. Look at that. Fuck. Come on. They're geniuses. Look, got holes, and you can like tighten. You can tighten them through the holes, like. And they're good design, bruh. Good design. Good fucking design, bruh. Fucking geniuses. Oh, 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 that's, it's so easy. It's so easy. Thank you, China.
this symbol. I don't even know how many times I've changed my shirt by now. All right, so uh, it's done. I I made it. Um, I am leveling the bed. I don't know if the bed's been leveled, but uh, I wanted to do this just just for you, just for you. That wasn't that satisfying. Will it print? I don't even know. I don't. I don't even know if it'll print. For some reason, it's taking fucking ages to uh, heat this bed up. Yo, funny thing happened. It's one there, it's one there, it's one here, it's one there, but that one then oopsie whoopsie. And uh there's just nothing there. Uh not I would not I'm not gonna call that a success. I'm gonna solve this. I'll be back. I'll be back. Skip that boop I don't know. Does it look good? Does it look good? Does it look good? I don't know. Um, someone said to scrape off ABS. I'm using ABS because I'm a fucking tool. Uh, you have to keep the bed hot, so, uh... They're fucking lying to me. It's, it's melted, it's melted on there. So, uh, uh... Cool down. Cool down there, buckaroo. Uh, can I, can I do that? <laughs> I'll just I'll turn that off. And, uh, I'll get a piece to print. Different day again, different shirt again. I'm gonna go out. Um, I made a. That's right. Uh, yes, I'm gonna recording videos. Made a thing. Ah. Uh, it's, it's on manual. It's on manual. What am I doing? So, this is a uh, Wish Medallion. I printed this on the lowest. Uh, thinnest layer height that I could. See, there's still some things left from the, the bed thing. I don't, I don't know, the brim, I don't know. I had to fill in this area with body filler. So, uh, besides that, I don't know, I, I think it came out pretty good. It's really fucking bright. Uh, now I'm going to sand it. Fuck. I'm going to sand it on this. This used to be very coarse, but now it's pretty fine, so I think uh, it's doing this like in circles will do good. And also, files and stuff and sandpaper, so it looks good. And then I'm gonna paint it and uh, probably give it to a friend.
behold, my final form, fourth new shirt, I think. No, I don't even know. I don't, I don't, no, I don't even know. I don't even. What? So, update. I don't know when I record the last clip. Uh, there's uh, some storms and some power surges. This printer has power surge protection. It doesn't work. It, it didn't work. What happened is, uh, it, it like recovered, and it started printing again, like, start printing again, like, uh, a whole inch above the previous layer. So, I had to cancel that print. But, uh, I was able to print something after I got the bed leveled and, and shit. After I got the bed, after I got the bed leveled and shit. Uh, I made two of these, actually. I gave one to a friend. Let's, uh, oh fuck, I got manual focus on. Uh, Mm? Mm? Witcher medallion. It goes on a thing. Uh, I have the Witcher. I haven't played it because I'm, I'm really good at doing that. So, it's on a thing, right? Oh man, ain't that... Ain't, fuck. Ain't that the... F ain't that... Ain't that the freshest thing you've ever seen? Ooh, ooh, yeah. I don't know. This paint job didn't come as come out as good as the first one, to be honest. But uh, I don't know. I have it. Uh, I made this like the smallest, the the smallest print, the finest print quality because it was very small and had a lot of free time. Uh, something that wasn't very small was the print that failed. So uh. This is uh, what was made so far. This print was going to take like 41 hours. I don't know why I decided to do a 41 hour print when a storm was about to happen. Oh, can you guess what it is? Can you guess? You really shouldn't because it's like 35% done. Metal Fingers Doom. How it is. Holy. Fuck. Which is weird because ABS, ABS is a bad material. I'm never gonna use it ever again once I'm done with this spool. But I'm gonna use this spool because it's kind of expensive. You got, it's got crack, ass cracks, creaks, cracks, ass cracks. It's got cracks, which sucks. But uh, you can sand. It. Well, at least you, at least you can sand it. At, at least you can sand it. So uh. Don't need that. So that print failed, and while printing some other things, I realized I have a problem with printing with ABS. It always stuck to the bed, and I couldn't get it off. I never had a clean bed to print on. So I thought I'd go online, and I found a little thing. It's called an ABS slurry. So ABS, it's uh, disintegratable in acetone. I have acetone here. The guy at the store told me not to drink it all at once. So I put some acetone in a jar of failed prints and supports, and this is fuck. This is what I got. <coughs> I got a good whiff of that. That's actual poison. Uh, that's molten plastic, and uh, thing is, once it was disintegrating, I got it all over my hands. So don't do that if you ever do that. You shouldn't do it in the first place because it's a bad idea. I made a vapor. As you can see, I made a vapor chamber, kind of, out of an old drawer, a dollar store fan. Man, that's ghetto as hell. Uh, and a bin with like a wooden slab in it. You put fuck acetone in there, and the vapors go in here. That little fan over there would circulate it, and it it kind of works. Thing is, it's not that powerful. So, for example, this uh, medallion here it came out pretty smooth. I did quite a bit of post print work with the filler and stuff, but as you can see in uh, some areas, there's still some lines you can see. Uh, this small piece was in that chamber over there for about six hours. You're typically supposed to put them in there for like half an hour. Why the fuck my lens dirty? People keep like kissing my lens and shit. It's kind of so, uh, yeah, I decided to put that slurry on my print bed and, uh, well, it kind of ruined my print bed. I cannot get this off. I tried tearing it off, and uh, some areas just ripped. 
to bed. So I ordered some extras. So what did I learn today? Uh, what did I learn in the last three weeks? Two weeks of using it and one month, three weeks of owning this printer. Despite 3D printing being very convenient and very detailed in some aspects of prop making, some things I just can't achieve with regular foam and paper and shit, it's not that easy, you know? Some it's not that easy. You got software and all this, and you got the lines, you have to still go in, sand it and shit. It's it's another thing. Then you have to like, you know, you want to design stuff. Now I gotta get into design. Now I have to deal with printing and shit. You have to know the temperatures and all that. So uh yeah, nothing comes easy in life. See, money can buy good props. Money can't buy good prop making all the time. Uh, no matter what, you're gonna have to work for it. Work something, you wanna make shit, you you have to make it. You can't just get a machine to make it. You have to design something. So yeah, I like 3D printing, but fuck 3D printing. Honestly. You fucking bitch. You little slut of a dragon. So, uh, place in the bed, kind of a hassle. 